everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here to show off the Android 5.0 Lollipop update on your Galaxy Note 4. So let me go ahead and show you guys that I am running it real quick. So if I go to General About Device and then go ahead and scroll down, you'll see Android version 5.0.1. This is the T-Mobile variant, but just about every Galaxy Note 4 has it at the moment so you'll see here's the hidden easter egg which pretty much everyone wants me to show so there's that close out of it all right so first of all let's talk about the updated lock screen so here it is you can swipe down if you have multiple notifications and you'll see they show up right here you can swipe them away as usual you can use two fingers to expand them if they can be expanded none of these can uh, no big deal press the back button you'll see i have a lock screen here but it really wasn't updated very much you can pretty much swipe anywhere on the lock screen and it will unlock if you don't have a password unlock and then if you don't have one as well you can swipe down from the top to get to your quick panel notifications so you'll see you have your camera and phone shortcuts still let's go ahead and pull down from the top and you'll see up the top here you do have your uh, toggles which really haven't been updated you'll see here um, all of them and then you can use two fingers as well to get to those so you'll see they show up here you can swipe through you can edit them uh, pretty much very similar so I mean overall a little aesthetic update but really nothing crazy different about the uh, the pull down bar now with the lollipop update brings some material design so there's some apps uh, stock apps I want to show off so here's the dialer that actually got updated and you'll see some kind of uh, animations so you'll see uh, when you press on buttons a little neat animation right here and then another one that was updated is the messaging app. And you'll see you have a quick compose button right down here, which follows material design. And you'll see you can add recipients. You have a smiley uh, to add emojis right here. You have attachments, etc. So there's that and little aesthetic update as well. Now another settings that actually got updated is when you go into settings and you go to sound and notifications, it didn't have this before, but it now has a list that you can kind of change a bunch of them instead of having to go into another menu. They're all up at the top there. And speaking of ringtone and sound, uh, with Lollipop, there was an option to not have silent mode, but they had priority notifications and no notifications. But Samsung actually, props to them, I, I like what they do, is that they just leave it the exact same as it was on KitKat, where you have silent mode, vibrate and ringer are pretty much the exact same so uh, some of you might like it some of you might not and then you go into the settings button right there and you can customize media notifications and system sounds all right so a little update to the recent running apps button so you'll see right here is what it looks like you have a clear all button and then you have task manager which got a little bit of an aesthetic update as well really nothing crazy different about that so here it is multitasking obviously you can go through uh, go to various applications, open them on up. Really nothing too different. Speed-wise feels pretty similar to how it was on KitKat. And then speaking of those recent uh, apps button, there's screen pinning now. So we go over to general right here, scroll down, you go to security, and then down at the bottom is actually pin windows. So screen pinning, I'm gonna turn that on. So you see a little update to that menu button as well. Now what you can do is you go to that, your uh, recent apps button in the bottom right, you'll notice a pin. So basically what that's gonna do, multi window is gonna be turned off, that's fine. Basically you're stuck within this app. So the settings, you can't use the pull down bar, you can't press the home button to go out, you can't press the, men, uh, the recent apps button or back button, nothing like that. To unpin, you have to hold the back and recents button at the same time. You'll see application no longer locked on the screen, pull down bar comes and you're ready to go. So that's kind of a neat feature for those of you that like to maybe show an app to people or have a child that you want to only stick to a certain application. Then they also added smart lock as well. That's actually under those uh, security settings. They only show up if you have a screen uh, lock such as the pattern lock, so trust agents, smart lock, where if you have a Bluetooth device such as a smartwatch connected, it's going to actually just keep your device unlocked. And then finally, I believe this was different in the camera application, essentially the exact same except for a couple modes I think that were added. So you have the, um, I believe, fast motion and slow motion options. Um, don't hold me to that, but I believe those were actually added in Lollipop. So here we go, I'm just gonna hit stop. And if you want to go to it, hit play. Should be slow motion now. There you go. So I think just another updated little thing to the camera, but overall the camera performs very similarly. It opens at about the same speed as it did on KitKat, maybe a little bit faster. But I mean, overall, 
Performance feels okay. I mean, nothing crazy different at all. It didn't seem like they did a lot of performance changes, just those added tweaks. Really nothing crazy different aesthetically, like you saw, maybe some stock apps updated, but really that's about it. That would be the Lollipop update in your Note 4. Let me know what you think, leave a comment. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus. all links in the description of the video below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.